Come on, where is he? You would think he would be easy to notice, but no. <laughs> there he is. Finn. Finny. <laughs> hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. I first went to Gwen, but you weren't with her. She said that you were busy studying for an upcoming test. Don't you have something better to do? I mean, I could put studying aside for now and just, I don't know, we could hang out. Um, I mean, the test is until like, what, next Tuesday? So, um, we can, you know, yeah. yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I need to talk to you about something. It's driving me crazy, and I think it would be better just to talk to you about it. And don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just something I want to get off my chest, I guess. Um, y yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, we can talk. Uh, do you want to go somewhere private to talk? Or, um, just do it here? And risk everybody else hearing us? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, come on. We can go to the library. Rarely anyone goes there after school anyways, and... Well, they're always there after school. So, come on. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go. Right, okay. Now, I need you to promise that you won't freak out. And that also means don't start freaking out. I just need to tell you something. And you can choose to ignore it. Or acknowledge it. It's up to you. Um, okay. Okay, I won't. Okay. Okay, I won't, won't freak out. Okay, um... Go ahead. Right. So I've, um... I've recently figured out something about me. Um... And I don't want you to think that it's because I don't like you anymore, or I'm not, like, satisfied in our relationship. I am. I promise, but I recently figured out that I also like a listener. And I, I didn't want to tell you because I was scared that you would freak out about it or accuse me of things. It was just stupid, and I know you'd never do that, but it just was something I was worried about. But wait, really? That's actually a relief, because um, I need to tell you something as well. I feel exactly the same way. I mean, I, I love you, but I also like Lister as well. Um, I was far too scared to tell you, um, but, uh, yeah. You do? That's great, and solves most of our problems. However, the other thing is, would listener date both of us? I mean, I don't want to make them choose between us 
And I don't want to choose between you and them. So the easiest solution would be all three of us dating. Yeah, um, it just depends if they actually will take both of us. Um, I guess like, we could always talk to them about it, but it could go so wrong. Maybe we should just... Uh, I don't know. What, what do you all do? I know things could go wrong, but they won't necessarily, which is why we need to talk to them. And it's also why I brought us to the library. If you take a quick glance to your right, there they are. They come in here every day after school to read, or I sit in that exact same spot, a table out of view from the door to the library, and it's mostly out of view from the rest of the library. They say that it's a perfect spot not to be bothered. <laughs> Looks like we're about to ruin that, though. Yeah. Yeah, we should go talk to them. I mean, it definitely would be the best. Idea. I mean, we can't just stay in the dark about all this, so. <laughs> yeah, let's go bother them, I guess. Right then, come on. And. shut! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Here's your book back. Missed it. Oh, <laughs> missed it again. Okay, okay, okay. Here. What do we want? Just to talk? About anything. Right, Finny? Yeah, uh, we just want to talk. That's all. Um, about anything like Robin said. Exactly. <laughs> Though, we did have one specific question. You know, pretty simple. Easy answer. You got a crush on anyone? Yeah, we were, um, <laughs> we were trying to think of who you might have a crush on if you do have one, so we're just, you know, we're wondering if there was any special someone. Oh, you don't? <laughs> well, I'm in no place to question you, but the way that you're hiding your face behind that book. Not making eye contact. Your answer is holding up. So go on. Tell us who it is. You don't tell us? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sure it can't be that bad. What's the worst that can happen? We won't see you any differently. And he's right. Or if you want, you won't change. But if you're so hesitant to tell us, tell me. Is there more than one? There is. Uh, uh, uh. You can't deny it now. See you refusing to make eye contact again. You like to pay for. It's okay. Go ahead. Who are they? Yeah, come on now. Tell us. Who are they? 
That's who they are. A silent treatment. Oh, that's not very nice of you. It was simply a question. No. Wait a second. If any do you perhaps know why they won't tell us? I think they got a crush on one of us. Or do you like both of us? Am I right? Hmm. Is there... Is that gonna be true? Do you like both me and Robin? Or one of us? Come on. You stay silent, but... I can see your eyes going back and forth from us. And then you look away. And you're looking kind of red. So is that true? Do you like me, Robin? Still not giving us an answer then? Well, let me give you a bit of reassurance. You know what Finny and I are dating? Well, it just so happens that is much as we like each other, we also like you. Isn't that right, Finny? Yeah, it is right. So, if you would like to tell us now, that would be great. Go on then. Tell us. Do you like Finny and I? You do. <laughs> That's good. Well then, as Finny and I have already said, we both like you. And we want you to join our relationship. So what do you say? You want to be our partner? You do? <laughs> That's... Made me very happy. I'm sure it's made both of you happy as well. Now that that's settled, let's go, loves. There's much more interesting things to do than study and read. Let's go watch a movie.